gay games were supposed to be in Montreal, I decided to, uh, why not, let's push the uh, Dragon Boat into the gay games. We ended up on our first year uh, being 24 people and we've been going ever since. And right now we have uh, over 40 people. Obviously we're about 70 to 80 percent uh, gay, but we also have uh, straight people. Uh, we have married couples that have kids and they bring their kids over. And I mean, it's, it's just, as soon as you have a paddle in your hand, you're a paddler. That's all you are. You're nothing else but a paddler. Rowing is really the uh, the old British English long boat. That's the rowing. Us is a paddle because we use paddles. We don't use uh, the big rows. The paddling is uh, we don't rely on arm strength. We rely on body work. So it's all the entire body is in an A shape. Everything has to be straight. The paddle is straight up. It goes straight in the water and it comes out straight. So everything is in, in all, it's aligned. It's like a look, if you look on it, uh, on the side, it looks like a uh, locomotive, like a train. And that's what we want to go. Well, I do this because this, uh, it actually added a new dimension for my life. Uh, you know, I'd never really been involved too much in sport uh, for most of my life because I always felt uh, sort of ill at ease in, you know, competitive sports because of all the, you know, the, the uh, you know, the macho attitude and all that and being gay, I've always felt uncomfortable with that, but it helped sort of ease me into it being part of a, a gay and lesbian team, so I felt from the outset a little more comfortable. And, uh, you know, uh, once I got into it, just I've, now I focus more on just the sport aspect. And I really like the competition, trying to outdo myself every time I come out. And uh, it's just a lot of fun. Je fais du bateau dragon parce que j'ai été invitée la première fois et puis j'ai découvert, euh, euh, j'ai redécouvert le sport d'équipe. Pour moi, c'était euh, un sport où si on travaille ensemble, on avance, on travaille pas ensemble, ça avance pas. Donc il n'y a pas de Wayne Gretzky, on est euh, une équipe et puis c'est ensemble qu'on avance. Donc c'est pour ça que j'en fais. Hi, I do a dragon boat because um, it's hard training. I want to get in shape. I'm getting in shape. It's a lot of fun. And this team Kraken, they love the voie de, joie de vivre, and uh, they're a good group to be with. Uh, summertime, under the sun, uh, you know, the air, fresh air, exercise, that's for me. Oh, ben, le bateau dragon, je fais ça parce que, euh, dès le départ, je trouvais ça intéressant de faire partie d'une équipe, euh, une équipe mixte en plus, de pouvoir faire un sport d'équipe avec des hommes puis des femmes, puis surtout euh, le sport de bateau dragon, avec l'objectif des Hard Games 2006, Ça donnait l'opportunité de s'entraîner en groupe, d'avoir du plaisir, mais en, en donnant notre euh, 110 pour ça, euh, <rire> comme diraient les joueurs de hockey. Donc, euh, c'est pour ça, en gros. I do this because, well, first of all, it's always great to do something that you can do to bring yourself to another level. The training is amazing, but uh, also, as one of my teammates pointed out, this is 2006, and as I think every Canadian athlete <laughs> should try to. Uh, to arise to is that opportunity where you actually have the opportunity to go above and beyond and 2006 is going to be a big deal for a lot of people and for me with this you got to focus in on that <laughs> um, that's my big thing is it's great you know it's a gay team but yet you still have that spirit and pride of being a Canadian and getting out there and doing the best that you can for your country so that's my reason You have this sound, you have 20 people doing the same technique in the same beat, same rhythm, it's, and there's one sound that comes out of this team. And there's just this energy that builds up and it's, it's amazing. There's just such a drive 
to do better because you're already at that disadvantage just from being gay. You seem to give it that extra effort and we seem to place and we come right up the middle. So it's, it's, it's wonderful. It really is. And it's a great thing that I think a lot of gay people can get into and just to have that experience. When you're in a race and you, you put it together and you see the other boats, they're having exactly the same thing as you and you're pushing and you're screaming and all you want to do is do that finish line. I mean, it's magic. Pretty simplistic. You hear paddles up. It's universal. Put your fucking paddle in the air, right? You know? <laughs>